Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, shouldn't have all ages, Hollywood show now here. About to give you another WWE Immortals video. And in this video, we talk about patch 1.4, which just got released on Tuesday, June 2nd, about 4 o'clock in the afternoon. New characters are here to brawl. Dean Ambrose and Stephanie McMahon are here to and ready to battle. Take a trip to the Lunatic Fringe with Ambrose and get down to business with Stephanie McMahon. Money in the Bank is the new WWE Immortals event, which will be available from June 10th to 17th. So, again, there will be another four-star gear, which also means that this multiplayer season might also have the rewards for the previous seasons, as we have gotten WrestleMania tickets in the past. So, those of you who are close to 5%, definitely try to get that. You might actually have another shot at getting payback gear. So, definitely try to get to the 5% there. And new character packs, no time for challenges, fear not. For a limited time, we're offering brand new character packs, allowing you to unlock the challenge character along with everything you need to compete at the highest level. Character packs will be available for Lunatic Fringe, Dean Ambrose, and Warrior Queen Stephanie McMahon, and include gold and silver variants of the character. All talent cards and a bonus 15,000 immortal credits. Packs are available two weeks only. Now, I'm wondering if they're actually going to have challenges within these cards or if they're limited time offers. I'm assuming that these challenges will be made available at some point, but it gives people a chance to actually get the cards early. And I'm not sure if I'll actually be able to unlock the So we're loading up WWE Immortals, the and end. we're going to see what's actually new in patch 1.4. So it seems like the Brock Lesnar challenge currently isn't active at the moment. So we're going to go into the store. We see three new things right off the bat. The first thing is the Dean Ambrose pack. Contains Lunatic Fringe Dean Ambrose Gold and Back Alley Brawler Dean Ambrose Silver. Also contains three talent cards for Dean Ambrose and 150,000 Immortal credits. The Stephanie McMahon pack contains Warrior Queen Stephanie McMahon Gold and the Authority Stephanie McMahon Silver. Also contains three talent cards for Stephanie McMahon and 15,000 Immortal credits. And there's also a brand new Challenge Booster pack. Contains one random gold character from previous challenges in case you missed them. Cyborg Brock Lesnar, Macho King, Macho Man, Skull King Triple H, Evolve Page, Evolve Daniel Bryan, and more. And it costs 180,000 Immortals coins, which is slightly less than you would pay for buying any of the cards outright. Most of them are over 200,000 coins. And brand new to patch 1.4 is the Gear Locker, which contains three random gear cards, saving you 15,000 credits for buying them singly. So that'll definitely be appreciative for people, as it used to be pretty hard to get the three star gear at 250,000 coins. Now you can get 10 of them, get 30 for 600,000. So in the store we can see the authority Stephanie McMahon, McMahon right away. 400 damage, 440 health. Passive ability is force loyalty. Stephanie provides a bonus to her team's damage. The strength of the buff increases as Stephanie McMahon takes damage, allowing her team to deal up to 100% more damage. Basically what that is, and it's 46,000 credits, so we're going to buy this card outright. But basically at 75% health you do 25% more damage, at 50% health 50% more, and at 25% you do 100% more damage. So trying to go into the store right now, we're trying to find Dean Ambrose and not having any luck whatsoever with that. We don't even see any bronze cards that are brand new. So we're going in through the gold cards and seeing what's new here. And we see an enlightened Big Show for 220,000 credits. Passive ability is Tranquility. After tagging in, Big Show grants his other teammates 1% life regeneration per second for 6 seconds or until he tags out. 800 damage, 1,200 health, tied with the Undertaker for the most. We're going to buy this card outright and try him out. So we're going to try to scroll through one more time and try to see if we can find Dean Ambrose. And it doesn't appear that he's available. So we're going to go into the booster pack. We're going to buy the Dean Ambrose pack. So you want to buy one Dean Ambrose pack. And your purchase was successful. But come to find out that it looks like nothing actually happened. So we back out. And it looks like the Brock Lesnar credits are available. The Stephanie McMahon pack is still available. So we're going to enter in our touch ID. So we purchased the Stephanie McMahon pack, and there was a bonus of 15,000 credits, which is no big deal. You can get that in like four fights. But we get the Warrior Queen Stephanie McMahon, the Authority Stephanie McMahon, Ruthless Rival, which is Stephanie McMahon's attack boost, Family Business, which is Stephanie McMahon's health boost, and Power of the Authority, which is Stephanie McMahon's stamina boost. 
Warrior Queen Stephanie McMahon looked to have about 975 damage and 850 health, I believe. Somewhere in that range. So in the store, we do not see the gold Stephanie McMahon or Dean Ambrose available for purchase buying those packs. And even the collection, nowhere to be found. No Dean Ambrose anywhere. Stephanie McMahon. Stephanie whips her opponent around by their head. 160 to 321 damage at level 1. And the Warrior Queen ambush is the level 2 move. Stephanie takes down her opponent. And the Queen's pedigree, Stephanie delivers a royal pedigree. And that's heavily borrowed from Triple H. So we're going to look at the authority, Stephanie McMahon. Force loyalty is the passive, obviously. The billion dollar smack, Stephanie puts her opponent in their place with an expensive smack to the face. Stephanie McMahon. And Stephanie provides a bonus to her team's damage. The strength of this buff increases Stephanie loses health, allowing her team to deal up to 100% more damage. And that is a very strong buff, just like Pantheon Big E. I can definitely see the usefulness with that and all the synergy that could come from putting both of them together. And as you can see, the rival is Dean Ambrose, allies Big Show, Kane, Sheamus, Triple H, rivals Dean Ambrose, Roman Reigns, Randy Stephanie Orton. Stephanie McMahon. Also, John Cena is a rival, The Rock, and Daniel Bryan. So, a decent list of rivals, not too many allies. So, we're going to look at the Enlightened Big Show. And we can see that Stephanie McMahon is an ally. And Dean Ambrose is not a rival. Big Show. So, no Stephanie McMahon or Dean Ambrose from Big E. With the Ice Witch Brie Big Bella, e. there's no Stephanie McMahon or... Dean Ambrose in the rival of allies, and with Brie Brock Lesnar, no Stephanie McMahon or Dean Ambrose. With Evolve Daniel Bryan, both Brock Dean Lesnar. Ambrose and Stephanie McMahon are rivals. And with Evolve John Daniel Cena, Bryan. Stephanie McMahon is a rival. Dean Ambrose is an ally. John and with Cena. the Demon Kane. Stephanie McMahon is an ally. Dean Ambrose is a rival. That one is expected. Kane. And with the Renegade Macho Man, Dean Ambrose is an ally, which is really good synergy with him, considering the Macho King Macho Man has an amazing buff. But Stephanie Macho McMahon Man. is not a rival. With Nikki Bella, her list of rivals is huge, and her allies not that much better. And not a ally or a rival to Dean Ambrose or Nikki Stephanie Bella. McMahon. With Paige... The list is pretty impressive as well, as there's no Stephanie McMahon, no Dean Ambrose with Paige, so no synergy Paige. there. Does have a decent amount of allies. So with Randy Orton, Stephanie McMahon is a rival, but Dean Ambrose is not an ally. Randy Orton. And with Roman Reigns, Dean Ambrose is an ally, and Stephanie McMahon is a rival. Roman Reigns. And for Sheamus, Dean Ambrose is a rival. But Stephanie McMahon is an ally. So good synergy with the Celtic warrior Sheamus there. And Sheamus. Stone Cold is not a rival to Dean Ambrose or Stephanie McMahon. But Dean Ambrose is an ally to Stone Cold. Stone Cold Steve Austin. As you can see right there. So with Stone Watcher The Rock... Stephanie McMahon is a Stone rival. Cold, Dean Ambrose is not an ally. And with Skull King Triple H, obviously Stephanie McMahon is an ally. No brainer there. Dean Ambrose is a rival. Triple H. So you can definitely see the synergy with Stephanie McMahon, especially with the authority Triple H as well. Put that in Skull King and watch the damage go. So with Angelic Knight Trish Stratus, Stephanie McMahon is not an ally. And Dean Ambrose also not a rival.
Trish Stratus. Arena Ultimate Warrior. Dean Ambrose is an ally, as his list of allies is extremely small and not a rival with Stephanie McMahon. And The Undertaker Ultimate is not an Warrior. ally or a rival with Stephanie McMahon or with Dean Ambrose. Undertaker. So we're going to go into Battle 18 now, which should be a good place for these cards to farm at level 1. We're going to put in the Enlightened Big Show. We're going to put in the Authority Stephanie McMahon and the Warrior Queen Stephanie McMahon. And gear unlocks at Big level show. 5. And the Big Show is an ally to both Stephanie McMahons. So in the first battle, we have Ancient Druid Seamus, Giant Big Show, Stephanie and Ice Wave Brie Bella. Cards are level 18. The first two cards have two promotions, and Brie Bella has nothing. And I really do dig the new splash screen there. I've also heard rumors of multiplayer having all the stages, too. That's pretty cool. Kind of change it up a little bit. So there's the Big Show. Kind of reminds me of the Barbarian King from Diablo 3, which is pretty sweet looking. As Big Show is a massive Here beast we and go. definitely well read it, represented there. So Stephanie McMahon is in. Good thing she's wearing white panties. So the Irish Curse does not get blocked and we weren't paying attention to one bar. So you saw the 100% damage, but Stephanie McMahon got wiped out. So when the Big Show tags in, he gains a health regen. And what's significant about that is the heal over time also works while you're taking damage. So that's a very strong benefit compared to having all the heal at once. It also makes this his opponent can easily knock you out as well. So Stephanie McMahon is in, trying to do some damage to Seamus. Hair Pulse Snapmare does hit for a little over 200 damage. Seamus goes down. That sweep reminds me of 600 Wonder Woman. So the big show healing up. Irish Curse blocked for 106. So now we get the big show in. That health regen is actually really strong, even at level 1. As you see, Stephanie McMahon also back to full health. We didn't get to test out the damage boost because Stephanie got wiped out too quickly. But the Big Show is in. Bring off another hair pull snapmare. That's for about 260. Giant drop block for 111. I would go off a Cobra Clutch Slam. Considering this Big Show has 1,200 health, his passive is exceptionally well. He doesn't have the big defense like the other Big Show does, but once again, the Big Show is really strong on blocking gear, so if you throw the payback gear on the Big Show, he can actually be super useful. Cobra Clutch Slam blocked, and these guys are just not dying. Stephanie McMahon only did because he didn't block the special. So sweep attack that can be annoying, kind of like 600 Wonder Woman on Injustice. Cobra Clutch Slam block, Big Show eliminated. Look at that health jolt right back up. Her can run a block. Stephanie McMahon comes back in almost at full health. So already right off the bat, I'm really loving this new Big Show. Unfortunately, we did not get Dean Ambrose. So again, the Big Show comes in. This should put him close to full health. Burr can run a block. As you see, it's a heal over time, which is actually more beneficial than getting the effect at once in most situations. Because when you have that heal over time, you can take damage and heal it right back up. As you see right there. So Brie Bella is eliminated in this painfully long first fight. 4,920 XP. And all of the cards almost hit level 4. 660 credits as Stephanie McMahon gets the biggest damage gain but the most health goes to the Big Show. So in the second battle we have Strongman Big E, Yes Movement Daniel Bryan, and Dead Man Undertaker. Our goal this time is to not lose Stephanie McMahon. That way we can show off her level 1 move. And it would probably be better actually put in the gold Stephanie McMahon to show off. So right away, as you this see, cards game. start off at 1 bar. So 63 on a heavy attack. 32 on a light attack. Thankfully she's wearing pangs. 
Strongman Crush block. So there's 25% increased damage. So it is at a certain percent. Now at 50% at half life. So it leads me to believe at 25% it will be 100% damage. Yes, it is. So now 62 for the light attacks. This is at 100% extra damage. Choke slam block for 189, 123 on the heavy attack. And now we're going to watch Stephanie McMahon repair herself. Now I'm not sure if the damage actually goes away the more the Big Show heals up. Now the more Stephanie McMahon heals up. So now it's at 62. That's at 123. So the 50% increased damage is back, so it leads me to believe that it have to be tagged out to get it. So 51. Choke Slam does wipe Stephanie out. Now I'm not sure if she actually maintains the buff considering that she got knocked out. No, it is not. So you have to keep Stephanie alive to keep that buff. So that's some very good information there as well. So if Stephanie goes down, you lose that damage buff. If you keep her at one health, she has that 100% damage buff for the entire fight. So very important to keep that up. I'm not sure how it will react with specials and super moves. We can actually do some testing with Daniel Bryan after we get up to 200 after we get up to level 5 and run some level 2 tests with all these guys. So, Big E wiped out. Daniel Bryan in for the first time. Stephanie's starting to get down on health. We're going to have to start swapping in and out with the Big Show. Cobra Clutch Slam is going to connect. It's for about 460. Undertaker is in. Choke Slam blocked for 174. We're going to have to start tagging people in and out. So, Stephanie decently healed up. So the hair pull hits for 166%. Almost enough to put the Undertaker at his dead man. Choke slam blocked for 189. And the Undertaker is at two bars. So we're gonna have another Cobra Clutch slam. Last ride blocked for 174. As you can see, it's extremely difficult to knock the big show out with that passive ability. So I can actually see a lot of use from him in multiplayer. And that also benefits the entire team, not just himself. So like I said, you can actually put him on a team with Daniel Bryan, and you're going to see some massive results from it. Choke slam block. Everyone got the hair pull snapmare, finally hits for 200%, and wipes out the Undertaker for the victory in the second fight. 4,940 XP as both cards should hit level 4, barely missing level 5. 680 credits. So in the third demonstration fight, we have Lunar Guardian, Brie Bella, Dark Sorceress, Page, and Giant Big Show. Cards are 18, 19, and 19. The middle card has two promotions, and the left card is silver. So after this fight, we'll actually be able to show off the level 2 moves on all of these cards. And obviously, Stephanie McMahon is a much harder target get to get rid going. of when she's actually more than level 4. Gold cards are obviously a lot stronger than silver. So we're going to go off a hair pull snapmare block for 26. So leave me to believe it's just best to leave Stephanie McMahon under 25% health and then let the other two do the work. That seems to be the best usefulness for it. And you can also stack that with Big E and get some even more crazy results. Try not to get knocked out. Stephanie McMahon comes in. We might actually have to use the Big Show's heal. Cobra Clutch Slam blocked for 90. The page is in. Banshee Rage blocked for 156. Let's get the other Stephanie in now. So there's the 100% increased damage. Air Pulse Snapmare. Page should be able to not kill Stephanie with that level 1 move. No, it does not. That's perfect. Now we got the damage boost. Big Show healing up over time, still at full health. Page eliminated. Cobra Clutch Slam blocked for 98. 
Stephanie McMahon comes in. Hair pull snapmare should be enough to get rid of the big show. So now heavy attacking for 141. Light attacking for 70. Burr can run a block for 212. We're gonna heal up again. And see if any more damage goes away. Burr can run a block for 182. 141 and 70 does not appear to be, so I think as long as you have the card tagged out, you still maintain that damage boost. And Brie Bella wiped out for the victory in the third top fight. And we receive a leather helmet out of nowhere. 4,960 XP. Why did the card... And the cards did level up. That's kind of bugged. Okay, that actually updated. That was kind of weird. Big Show. So the Hammer Fist is the Big Show's level 2 move. Big Show pounds his opponent through the ground and delivers a dismissive kick. 4,000 credits to buy her. Stephanie We're also going to buy the Billion Dollar Smack. Stephanie puts her opponent in their place with an expensive smack to the face. Stephanie McMahon. And the Warrior Queen ambush. Stephanie takes down her opponent. That's some great description there. So we're going to give Stephanie the Extreme Rules gear. We're going to have her be the damage dealer. Stephanie McMahon. We're going to give the Authority Stephanie, Steph McMahon. Stephanie McMahon the WrestleMania gear. Just for shits and giggles. Stephanie McMahon. Big and we're going to give Enlightened Big Show the payback here. Big Unfortunately, show. we don't have it evolved, so we can't obviously heal while blocking. So in the fourth test fight, we have the Demon Kane, Solar Assassin, Nikki Bella, and White Witch, Trish Stratus. Now, after this fight, we're going to go into Bonus Battle 6 with Daniel Bryan and show off some of the higher level usages for him. So again, yeah, all cards go. start at one bar. We're going to make sure we get off level 2 moves with everybody. Stephanie McMahon should be first. She has the least damage. So Kane and Stephanie McMahon going at it. Power Bomb blocked for 137. We're going to go off the Billion Dollar Smack, which is a rapid swipe. Briefcase of money, that's hilarious. Actually does some pretty good damage for a silver card. And 50% increased damage, spinning jawbreaker blocked. Warrior Queen Ambush unfortunately got blocked. So we're gonna have to get the big show in and get off his level two move. Spinning jawbreaker block into a hammer fist, which is a rapid tap. That's pretty sweet looking. Wipes out. That's the silver stuff in me. Pretty much back to full health after a couple Big Show attacks there. 25% so increased damage is back. Stephanie's at a bar and a half. Whiplash Head Scissors blocked for 76. So Stephanie at two bars. That life steal from the gear proc. And now the Warrior Queen ambush hits, which is a rapid tap. Hits for 2,665. 4,980 XP as all cards hit level 6. 720 credits. So now we're going to go into bonus battle 6. We probably could have finished that out. It didn't really matter though. Now I'm not sure how we can do this. We can probably try with the Demon Cane, although 968 health is pretty much nothing. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to put in... Big Show! No, 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 Daniel, Daniel Bryan, Bryan with the Big Show and Stephanie McMahon who pretty much do something off the bat. We're going to give Daniel Bryan the inner beast. Daniel Bryan, Big Show. And Big Show should be able to survive one or two hits with a payback here. So he might even get to see some value from that. So in the first test fight of Bonus Battle 6, we have Evolved Randy Orton, the Demon Kane, and Necromancer Undertaker. So all cards will start with one bar of power. That's extremely good with Daniel Bryan. So 
one bar of power for him is just absolutely ridiculous. I'm trying to take some damage on purpose. We don't want to take a level two though. Kane comes in. I think we're going to get off the yes, 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 and get rid of Kane. So now what we're going to do afterwards, we're going to tag the Big Show in and try to get the full benefit from that health regen. Take note of Daniel Bryan's health. We're just going to wipe out him first. So our health is right by the money icon. We're going to take this special. Choke slam block for 3346. So the Hammer Fist is going to connect on the Undertaker. Oh. There you see how much health Daniel Bryan healed up. A good probably 10-15%. to 15%. Definitely a lot more than it said. Chokeslam blocked for 3604. Now keep in mind when the Big Show tags out, you lose that heal. So for example, there's the Tranquility. Chokeslam block does not take out the Big Show, and that Tranquility actually saved him there. So now Daniel Bryan pretty much back to full health again. Choke slam into a flying headbutt, and the Undertaker is eliminated for the victory in the first half fight. Twenty-nine thousand four hundred sixty XP. As these cards will hit level nine, four thousand five hundred fifty credits. I think we're going to go into Bonus Battle 5, which has Radiation. Oh, now they changed it to Poison Cloud and Dampening Field. That's kind of funny. It used to be Miasma. So that's an undocumented change for sure. We're going to leave the Big Show in, but we're going to put in the Silver Stephanie McMahon. Stephanie McMahon. Actually, I don't think we even need to do that. We're going to put in... I think we're going to put in Sheamus. That'll give Stephanie McMahon... A health boost and allow her to get the damage she needs wherever he is. There's Seamus. Seamus. Stephanie We're McMahon. gonna give Stephanie the payback gear. Stephanie McMahon. So in bonus battle five we have Evolved John Cena, Pantheon Big E, and Pyromancer Nikki Bella. Main goal of this fight we have to get to three bars with Daniel Bryant at a hundred percent damage and see if it works with super moves or only basic attacks. Now, obviously, you want to do this with Brie Bella. Let's get and rolling. Anybody else would do too much damage. We're going to try it anyways with John Cena. So there's the 25% damage. We can tag out that double bonus. There's 50%. There's 100%. So that's exactly what we want. 332 for the Poison Field. So 4,182 basic damage for Daniel Bryan. John Cena is going to get wiped out. There is Brie Bell. It pretty much doesn't do any damage. So we're going to work our way up to three bars with Daniel Bryan. Spinning Jawbreaker is going to connect on purpose. So Daniel Bryan almost at two bars. That Poisoning Cloud doesn't really do that much damage. You can see all the money flying. Now we can wipe out Nikki Bella. We're going to go the yes, 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 and Big E is eliminated. Is 154,071 damage for the victory in the final test fight. 1,664 XP, 16,644 the authority Stephanie McMahon. 1,650 credits. So after that testing, in my opinion, actually we have one more test we could run. So we're not done yet. We're going to run Big E with them as well. Now the whole purpose e. of this is Big E has to get to three bars. E. And Stephanie McMahon has to be at 100% damage. So we're going to give Big E the ultimate WrestleMania Big gear. E. And our main goal is to get up to three bars on Daniel Bryan, then switch out to Big E. And we're going to either do this with the Authority Stephanie McMahon or Banshee Knight Page. 
We have to wipe out the Big Show as soon as we can. So this is going to be some difficult synergy. Again, we're probably going to have to put Stephanie in right away. And that's the best way to get her down to 100% safely. Watch out. This one's going to be brutal. As you see, she really doesn't do a whole lot of damage. Her stats are actually pretty average, but that passive ability is really good. Again, even if you have her at 1% health and just leave her there the entire fight, even tagged out, you'll see that benefit. So now at 25% damage, her pull snapper puts her at 100%, so now Daniel Bryan comes in. We're going to wipe her out because we don't want that buff. Now we got to wipe the Big Show out. Dragon Screw on the Big Show will get rid of him. So now Paige is in. We actually have to take some hits. We have to block specials. Banshee Rage block for 1,000. That's going to be a nightmare trying to get up to three bars. But we're going to see if Big E's and Stephanie's passives do stack, or if they cancel each other out. As known on Injustice with, say, the animated Harley Quinn and the militarized Batmobile. So this is a very important test that I feel people need to experiment with, because you never know when you have synergy with double super moves and massive buffs with either one. Now you can also use the Macho King Macho Man to buff up Daniel Bryan, but I think it was only for his basic damage. So as soon as Paige gets off her special move, we're going to swap over to Big E, wait a couple seconds, and go to work. I think we're good enough now. So we're going to go off three strongman crushes. Doesn't matter on the percentage. There's one. There's two. And the third one is blocked, which is good. So we're going to go off the yes, yes, yes with strongman Big E's buff and see how much damage this does. Two hundred and twenty-four thousand seven hundred eighteen damage. So both of the buffs do stack. Sixteen thousand six hundred eighty XP. One thousand six hundred eighty credits. All right. So those of you who have been playing WW Immortals, a lot of people had some issues with patch one point three, and as you can see right now on Android, there is the WW Immortals patch one point four. So we're going to go into WW Immortals as it has finished downloading. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to try a couple tests to see if the crashing issues got fixed or not. And that was the big problem that people had, including myself, as I was trying to do the Cyborg Brock Lesnar challenge on Android to finally get it, as I've been missing it for quite a while. Since... Really didn't like the NVIDIA Shield talent for gaming. It just seemed too slow and laggy. And we're doing this off the Samsung Galaxy Tab Pro 12.2. I've used a Kanex composite splitter to bypass the HDCP. So we're going to go into the Brock Lesnar challenge. And as you can see, my progress is still there. What the hell? Did I lose my... Progress? No, I did not. I actually gained credits somehow. Kind of interesting. This is one thing I really wish they would fix on Immortals. How, like, on iOS, it actually has it broken down in two, but no matter what, it has, like, the mobile version of the statistics. So we're going to go again into the store. And as you can see, the Dean Ambrose and the Stephanie McMahon packs are there. And the Challenge Booster pack is also there as well. Now, as far as the characters go... The Authority Stephanie McMahon is there again. And again, no Dean Ambrose on Android. So we're going to do a fight within the challenge mode. Because we had some major issues with crashing. We're going to do two fights in Android. And if everything checks out, we'll be good to go. So again, this is on the Samsung Galaxy Note Pro 12.2. So there is Roman Reigns and John Cena. Cena Plex blocked for 517. Now we do have the WrestleMania gear on Roman Reigns. However, it's not upgraded, so it's pretty much useless. 0.3% health a second is pretty weak. 
Cineplex blocked for 480, but Roman Reigns is my strongest card on Android. So I do have a promotion for him. Cineplex into a machine gun barrage, and John Cena should be eliminated. Yes, he is. We're going to get John Cena in for a moment. Try to heal some of the damage. Brie Bella comes in. Hurricane Runner on John Cena is going to do some damage. Hits for 585. Cineplex blocked for a whopping 45 damage. Well, John Cena really doesn't do damage. So as you see, the WrestleMania gear still even unevolved does actually heal up a little bit. You can still use it. Although basic damage in most situations is a hell of a lot better. Not entirely useless. The Whiplash head is blocked into a machine gun barrage. Almost wipes Trish Stratus out. Tornado Suplex blocked for 356. So Trish Stratus almost eliminated. It'll be up to Brie Bella to defensive boost her way up to victory. Boy, did I call that one. For some reason, there was a block breaker on that effect, too. I don't understand that one. So that moon shield is gone. Hurricane Rana into a machine gun barrage, and Brie Bella is eliminated for the victory in the 10th, actually in the 13th fight on Android. Two thousand seven hundred sixty XP, five hundred and ten credits. Looks like they did fix the crashing issue there. So in the fourteenth matchup, we're actually going to put in Evolved Randy Orton, and we're going to give Hound of Justice Roman Reigns some damage gear. Now it still seems a little bit unresponsive, and unfortunately. Even with patch 1.4, the Samsung Galaxy Note Pro still has the crashing issue. So even though they updated the game, Warner Brothers needs to get on their act and get the Android version patched up and actually working. So unfortunately, patch 1.4 does absolutely zero to fix that. So if you like this little video on patch 1.4, now introducing Stephanie McMahon, a new Big Show, and Big or Dean Ambrose, which is currently bugged on iOS. Please give this video a like rating, comment, subscribe, share this video amongst your friends, and as a favorite, check out my other WWE Immortals videos, my playlist, Facebook, Twitter, and Twitch, which are all Hollywood show now. And have a wonderful day, kids. www.youtube.com slash Hollywood show now. Subscribe, bitches!